Welcome to day 22. Maximize productivity. Prioritize important tasks and block time. The Retail Saw Blueprint to teach you everything you need to know to confidently grow and scale your brand. Build a connected community of loyal evangelists and multiply your brand's impact, sales, and profits. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Dan Lohman. I've had the privilege of mentoring and working with hundreds of brands, from pre-revenue to multi-billion dollars in sales. This is the culmination of the best strategies that are working today. I spent years testing and perfecting them to save you valuable time and money while giving you the edge that you deserve. If you haven't done so yet, download the free 30-Day to Prosperity Workbook at RetailSolve.com 30-Day Workbook to help you get the most out of this brand building series. Go back and listen to all the episodes in this masterclass so that you don't miss a thing. The strategies build upon each other in the order of the series. Please share these and help me raise the bar in natural. I want to take a moment to recap the last episode. How to know the value of your promotions. Prioritize trade marketing. This is one of the most overlooked areas of every brand. This is one of the areas where you can not only cut a lot of cost, but you can also maximize your overall sales. You can maximize your ability to get your product on the store shelves and into the hands of shoppers by understanding all the levers that affect your trade marketing. So what I mean by that? You want to understand specifically what are the things that are going to do to drive your lift, to increase the amount of sales over base sales, over everyday sales. The way you do that is you immerse yourself in your trade marketing and you make it a priority. And the best way to do that is to use the free trade promotion ROI calculator on my website. You can get to this tool instantly by going to my website at retailsob.com and clicking on the button free promotion analysis tool. This tool is a game changer. It's going to help you evaluate your promotions. The most important aspect of this tool is it's going to allow you to compare what you plan to do with what you actually did. And the best part is you can actually email yourself a copy of what you created so that you can evaluate your promotions and learn from them. You can learn how to maximize each and every promotion just by using this simple tool. And of course, there's a bunch of other resources on my website, especially on the events page, where I talk about how to maximize your trade marketing ROI. Check out the free webinar replays. And that takes us to today's topic, maximize productivity, prioritize important tasks, and block time. Let's face it, running a business requires leaders to wear a lot of different hats. The reality is that most leaders loathe certain aspects of running a business. The sad reality is, is that those leaders force themselves to do something that they don't want to do. Think about it. What are you really good at? You created an amazing product that's going to disrupt the category and change the way people eat. Do you really like to do the accounting in the back office stuff? If not, hand that to someone else. Find someone else who can do that for you so that you can focus on what you're the best at. This is going to be the focus for the remaining episodes of this series. And the reason for that is you can have the best strategies in place. You can hire the best people, but if you don't execute, well, then that all falls apart. This is why you need to understand exactly what you need to do to be successful. And that begins with understanding what you're good at and what you're not good at, and then filling the gap with people can help you. Not doing this right can cause you to derail your brand before you even gain traction. And what's worse, the chaos is unnecessary and the drama can lead to not only missing deadlines and missing opportunities, but it can also make it difficult for you to keep and maintain quality employees. And the reason for that is that no one likes to work for a business that's constantly on fire, a business that's constantly on the edge from one moment to the next. Something I want you to think about to kind of frame why this matters. When you watch shows like Shark Tank or you go to any of the pitch slams, one of the key aspects that every brand needs to do that they're not necessarily doing is reduce the risk to the potential investors. By doing that, it also makes it easier for retailers to say yes to your products. The best way to do this is to remove all the drama, to be organized, to have the right people in place to lead your organization, and to make sure that you've got the right amount of product in the pipeline to be able to support all your needs at retail, and all the trade marketing to support the promotions. Think about all the things that you would want if you were to make an investment. Think of the things that you do before you go on a trip, how you plan, What things do you need to pack? Do you need a car when you get to the airport? Think of all the things that you need to have in place. Well, running a business is really the same thing. You need to make sure you've got everything in place so that you can be successful. 
And the best way to do this is to maximize your productivity and to prioritize important tasks and block time when necessary. So how do you do this? Don't be afraid to delegate. And don't be afraid to hire to fill any gaps. Remember, it's cheaper to hire someone who can do the job and do it well than for you to struggle or have someone else struggle to be able to do something that they're not really the best at. This is why I continually say that eliminating headcount or cost cutting should take a backseat to maximizing your trade promotion ROI. This is something I alluded to in the last episode. One of the first things that every company unfortunately thinks about when they need to reduce costs is they think about how to reduce headcount. They think about what do they need to do to trim the budget instead of thinking about not only how can we grow sales, but how can we stop wasting money on promotions that are ineffective. This is where you have an opportunity not only to differentiate your brand by making you more efficient, which of course is a win when you work with retailers, but more importantly, this gives you an opportunity to lean in and be able to maximize each and every opportunity to grow sales. And the reason you don't want to necessarily cut headcount is because you spend a lot of time identifying those people that you hired. Consider this. When you hire someone, you don't just grab someone off the street. You spend a lot of time and a lot of energy evaluating their resumes, reaching out to people, learning about them. You interview them. You take the time to get to know them. And then you frequently do some sort of a background check, whether it be caller references or something else. The point is this. You invest a lot of time and energy into hiring and surrounding yourself with the best people. And it's those people that you hire that give you the additional bandwidth to be able to focus on the things that you're good at. Then, when you're trying to cut costs, getting rid of those people puts an additional burden or additional strain on your business, which is exactly what you don't want. It's those times when you need those people in place to help you grow and scale. This is why. You need to surround yourself with talented subject matter experts to give you the freedom to focus on the things you do best, and that is to innovate. This gives you an opportunity to focus on driving the business instead of focus on the minutia. Devote uninterrupted time to focus on what you do best and block that time. Prioritize your time by ranking by result. Years ago, Unilever put us through a time management course, which was invaluable. What we learned how to do is we learned how to prioritize items and then we rank them by A, B, C, D. So in other words, instead of saying this is a top priority, this is a secondary priority, etc., We also went as far to say, this is the most important priority within that ranking. By doing that, we got very specific. For me, I review my plans every night before I go to bed. And then I set intentions around what I need to do. So that when I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go. And I'm purpose driven. I know exactly what I need to do to be successful. These simple strategies are going to help make a dramatic difference in your ability to manage your business more effectively and your ability to feel good about what you're accomplishing. You don't want your business to become a burden to you, something that you loathe doing every day. Instead, you want to enjoy your business. Remember, you got into it for a reason. Try to keep that top of mind as you work to grow your brand. What are the things that you're passionate about? Why did you get into this in the first place? Make sure that that's a focus and a priority, and then surround yourself with quality people that can take the minutia off your plate so that you can excel at what you're best at. For additional inspiration, listen to the podcast episode, Secrets 14 with Brian Buca, How to Maximize Sales with Brokers. One of the biggest challenges that brands have is how do you hold your broker accountable? How do you make sure that your broker is doing everything you need them to do on your behalf? The way I believe that you should do this is you need to keep the strategy in-house and then leverage your broker to execute on your behalf. In fact, it was that simple idea that got me my first speaking gig at Expo East years ago. In fact, it was that simple idea that put me in a position where I started writing regular articles for New Hope. It was that simple idea that had people reaching out to me wanting articles, wanting articles and content around the things we're talking about here. I've got over 500 articles published globally and just about every leading trade publication as a result. The point is this, these strategies work, and these strategies can differentiate your brand from your competition. This is how you get the edge that you deserve, by leveraging the strategies that we're talking about throughout this 30-day series. Secrets 14, Brian Buca, How to Maximize Sales with Brokers. Next, I recommend you listen to Secrets 21, Robert Craven with Megafood, Shoppers Want Trust and Transparency, the cornerstone of natural channel. I had the privilege of doing a lot of work for Megafood and working specifically for Robert. This put me in a unique position to see how he was able to manage the business, how he was able to grow it. 
What's great about this episode is Robert talks about how he grew the brand by surrounding himself with the right people and by focusing on what matters most, the customer, and then having the right people in place to support those needs. As a point of pride, I had the privilege of working closely with Robert and his management team as Megafood was my number one client for several years. I literally sat at the table as they made decisions in their innovation meetings. Secrets 21, Robert Craven with Megafood. Shoppers want trust and transparency, the cornerstone of the natural channel. Next, I recommend you listen to Secrets 259, Explode Sales by Unlocking Your Profitability, Win-Win Selling with Doug Brown with Business Success Factors. This episode was fantastic because we talked a lot about management, a lot about the things that we're talking about here. Doug was the independent president for people like Tony Robbins and Chad Holmes. He had the privilege of helping them manage their businesses, and he shares a lot of the insights around what he did to be successful and how in his own company, he helps brands succeed. You'll definitely want to check it out. This is one of my favorite episodes, one of my favorite interviews. Secrets 259, Explode Sales by Unlocking Your Profitability. Win-win selling with Doug Brown of Business Success Factors. Tip of the day, surround yourself with talented subject matter experts to give you the freedom to focus on what you do best, to innovate. I recorded this on video, which has illustrations and additional information that I can't share in an audio podcast. You can watch the company video on the podcast webpage, and you can get there by going to retailsolve.com forward slash session 248. In tomorrow's show, we'll talk about being laser focused and how to say no to distractions. This episode will build on today's conversation. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.